I have two articles that I want to uh, report on today that directly relate to what I had have just previously uh, reported on in an article I put out just a couple days ago. Last article I put out, uh, I beg the question, is the approaching Iranian deal a um, starting point that is going to bring about a, a major protection, Mideast protection uh, peace process. That's going to bring Israel, the modern Arab states, and Iran under one big umbrella of protection. And I also pointed out that uh, this very well may be the peace process we've, we've been looking at. The Israeli-Palestinian uh, peace accord very well may be included in it, but it may not be the main emphasis of the peace process. And here's one of two uh, uh, articles that I want to highlight. And the first one says, Gulf Arab states press Obama for security guarantees war tech due to Iran deal. Leaders of the Gulf Arab states are seeking security and weapons technology agreements from the White House to preserve their military edge in the region as a major U.S. strategic agreement with Iran looms, the uh, Wall Street Journal reported. Israel has a similar agreement with the United States relative to the same Arab states, or same as the Arab states. The discussions are taking place in advance of a scheduled meeting with Barack, uh, President Barack Obama and representatives of the Persian Gulf states. On their wish list are drones, missile defense uh, systems, and additional fighter jets, including the advanced F-35 Joint Strike aircraft. The Arab states also, this is something you want to pay attention to, the Arab states also plan to press Obama for security agreements that would pr provide for U.S. intervention should Iran's threat become critical, the report says. And I believe this really is where the peace process is going to come in. I think not only are the, are the Arab states going to ask for a security deal with the United States, but also we, uh, Israel will do, it, do the same thing. So this big peace process, they're going to get the uh, Iranian uh, notions, negotiations over, then they're going to head to the next um, uh, mountain, that, which is the uh, Israeli-Palestinian peace process. And that's the next article I want to uh, uh, focus on. This coming out of the Daily Beast, it says, Could Obama's Iran deal bring Israeli-Palestinian peace? And I think it will. And as I've said many times, I believe the process for the end times is going to be uh, rapture, peace, then sudden destruction. And I've said that for many, many, many years. I said it even when the Arab Spring broke out. Everybody else was talking about a Psalm 83 war. Everyone else was talking about this war, that war, uh, that uh, Damascus was going to become a ruinous heap. And don't get me wrong. All these things will happen in due time. But I believe it will happen in the last of my three steps, and that is sudden destruction. And I'm going to pick up this article, a couple, a paragraph down. It says, now that Obama, the Obama administration believes it's on its way to achieving an Iranian nuclear deal, what about the president's and particularly Secretary of State John Kerry's other key priority, the Israeli-Palestinian peace? Having stood up to Congress, Israel, and the pro-Israeli community on Iran, why not push full steam ahead on the two-state solution? I believe they will. I believe that once they get the Iranian deal out, that this big umbrella of peace will take, uh, take shape with the Arab world, uh, modern Arab world, and with Israel in which the United States and particularly the European Union. I believe that the European Union will finally bring peace to the, uh, the Middle East. But you know what? Uh, anything happened. We don't really know that for sure. The Bible does say in Daniel 9, 27, that it will be a, uh, something, someone from the Roman Empire, the old Roman Empire, that will bring the peace. And I'm not going to debate which leg of the Roman Empire is going to bring the peace. I am fairly confident, in fact, I'm really confident that it's going to be a country out of the European Union, and that's where the Antichrist will rise up. And if you need further proof on that, you can uh, look up uh, Dr. David Reagan's article on that particular subject. He has put together a uh, an article that uh, you can find on the web that explains in detail why it is uh, going to be a the Antichrist will come out of a country from the European Union and not out of the Muslim world. But as I've said many times, if you choose to believe that the European or that the uh, Antichrist will run, come out of the uh, uh, Muslim world, that uh, you can, you'll have to wait and see what happens. I'm not going to debate about it, nor am I going to spend any time on it. Now getting back to the article, it says the administration has 20 months to deal with this mess. There will likely be violence on the ground, but no third antifada yet. Uh, Kerry may try to resume his mediation effort, but likely uh, without success. 
The Palestinians will pressure Israel abroad, but without much consequence. Most likely, the administration may try to work on some UN Security Council resolution that embodies the elements of a Palestinian state, or at some point release its own view of a final deal. How any of this will uh, help matters isn't clear. And for the foreseeable future, the administration is likely going to be caught where it's been for some time, looking at a two-state solution that's too hard to attain and too important to abandon. Now, I think this guy has hit it right on the head, but uh, the only one thing he doesn't take into consideration, of course, he's not a Christian, uh, as far as I don't think he is, but uh, he can't take into consideration as a reporter that the rapture of the church will take place. When the rapture of the church takes place, that will bring about the uh, rise of the Antichrist. And what uh, previously was seemed to uh, impossible. I believe that the Antichrist will bring it all together and will put it all under one umbrella with Iran uh, in one corner, uh, Syria also in that corner, with uh, 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 Israel, the modern Arab world, and the Palestinian state. And somehow, some way, he's going to sort it all out to work together. And in God's great timing, he will bring about a seven year peace accord that will be confirmed. So yes, I do believe that this reporter has said a lot of truth, but the bottom line is that at some point in time, what, what normally would take place will change because the Bible has declared it. So I do believe that we are looking at the Iranian deal uh, coming, uh, coming down to a uh, wire, but it will be passed and then they will move on to the Palestinian-Israeli issue, but with also their eye on uh, the modern Arab world and Israel, and they will, in exchange for peace, uh, or at least a peaceful coexistence in the Middle East, uh, the United States will bargain with them a security deal, And at, but, but I, I believe it will be the Antichrist who will finally bring it all together, with the United States in the background allowing him to do what he can do. Now, how far away is that uh, from taking place? Well, nobody really knows. The Bradshaw could take place at any moment. One should realize that there is no sign before the rapture could have taken place a thousand years ago. You know, many try to point to the signs that are going on, the increase of earthquakes and all these other items. But the truth of the matter is the rapture is a mystery. In other words, it, we, we do know a lot about the rapture, but we simply don't know when it's going to take place. But one thing is for sure, the Bible does say that we're not to be in darkness and that we are children of the light. And in Hebrews 10.25, it does say that we should assemble ourselves together more as we see the day coming. So God has uh, chosen to give us some uh, of the light in order to uh, determine what the end times are about. And as always, if you don't know the Lord, today is the day of salvation. You know, 150,000 people die every day. The Bible says that the vast majority will end up in a burning hell. Don't let that happen to you. Come to the Lord today. And you Christians who are worried about your lost loved ones and what will become of them after the rapture takes place. You need to get a copy of my Tribulation Period Survival Guide in their hands. You know, I have a free version that you can download, and I also have a paperback version that you can physically hand them. You know, I gave one to my one of my neighbors last night, who is an Iranian by birth, and in handing him this, he didn't believe a word of what I was telling him about uh, the end times, the rapture of the church, or no, the Tribulation Period. But he did say he would read the book. And you know what? If the rapture takes place tomorrow or the next day, or whenever the Lord wills this day to take place, I can guarantee you what he did not previously believe, he will now believe. And what he previously did not think was serious, he will take serious. That's why I encourage you to get this book into every person's hand you can. Make the investment and get it in someone's hands. And if you're connected with social media or whatever the case may be, or have some type of website or radio station or whatever the case may be promote this book my goal is to get this hand uh, this in the hands of as many people as possible and even though tens of thousands have already either downloaded or purchased this book my goal is for this to spread worldwide now it's uh it's in three different languages english of course spanish and also mandarin chinese and can be read by as many as two billion people presently so i'd appreciate it if you would uh help promote this book and get it out there well, this is Terry Malone with the Calvary Prophecy Report.